Hello everyone. This is the most important lecture of PEC, that is the Thevenin and Norton theorem. Before the introduction, let's have a review. Inside this one port network, there may be independent sources, dependent sources, linear resistors, and their complicated connections. Seen from the port whose voltage and current have associated reference directions. What UI form can the network represent? Let's review some special conditions. What does this mean? The current is always zero and the voltage can be any value. So it's an open circuit. Or a resistor with infinite value or a current source with zero value. What about this? The voltage is always zero and the current can be any value. So it's a short circuit or a voltage source with zero value or a resistor with zero value. A straight line across the origin point in the first and the third quadrat represents a linear resistor. A straight line across the origin point in the second and the fourth quadrant represent a negative resistor. Besides, this line represents a voltage source. Similarly, this line also represents a voltage source. This line represents a current source, and this line also represents a current source. My question is, do they represent all the conditions? No. Do you find that these lines are all special lines in UI plane? They are either parallel to the horizontal axis or parallel to the vertical axis, or straight lines across the origin point. The common lines in the UI plane are these lines. These lines represent the common conditions of a complicated network, including independent sources and the linear elements. What does this network look like? You should think about this before learning the Thevenin and Norton theorem. 